It is new client Tuesday. Man, I wish that was a thing. New client every Tuesday. Be a lot of clients though. Uh, but it is a new client day and I'm doing the shorter vlogs or at least trying to. And I'm vlogging on the gimbal, which is kind of weird because it's all over the place. Lock on. when I'm working too. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. Cutting the commercials up? Yes. Well, I am actually um, uh, the listing agent for this land, for Jerry Smith. So, do y'all know Jerry? Yeah. So, um, we're just uh, doing some advertising for him. Maybe you get a sold. It's been up for sale for 150 years. I know it has, hasn't it? <laughs> Have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Get that? I did. How to dodge the police. Okay, so I just finished up with Becky. Cut to that footage now. Hi, I'm Becky Easton with Keller Williams Western Upstate. I'm standing in the middle of 100 plus acres of prime real estate located in the upstate of South Carolina. With over one mile of road frontage on Interstate 85, it has high visibility and volume traffic. And now I am getting some drone shots of this property. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, I noticed you guys didn't watch the last vlog, so apparently you don't care about cars, even if they are illegal. But sometimes I gotta film cars and sometimes I gotta talk about that. It's just part of the daily vlog. Sorry. All right, drone footage done. Shooting with Becky about the property done. She talked about Greenville a lot, so I think I'm gonna get some drone shots of downtown to add to the video. Uh, I think it'll make it more dynamic, so. It's Tyndall 4. Traffic. Do it today, do it tomorrow. Do it today, do it tomorrow. I don't know, it's pretty cinematic filming with the gimbal. Shots are looking real good. Is it really that one? Uh, next question is, do I film while driving with the gimbal? I'm gonna get one of those tennis player arms like the guys back in the 80s, their serving arm was like twice as big. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, shortly after filming the drone stuff yesterday, I realized that I had a massive screw in my tire benefits of living in a new community and was losing tire or losing losing air rapidly so I rushed to get that taken care of uh, I overinflated it because I didn't all the stores were closed to fix that you call them stores uh, so I overinflated it so that I could get up this morning and go long story short tires fixed washing my car because I like to do that before I go on a trip because I'm driving to Orlando tomorrow which is why I definitely needed my tire fixed so now I'm finishing that up getting my hair cut and then finally getting those drone shots I think of downtown Greenville so I'm starting to get a little frustrated because I'm right in the center of downtown where I filmed before with the drone and it is telling me that I'm in a no-fly zone and it's always not been a no-fly zone I'm starting to get real ticked at Greenville right now because this is the second time I've been somewhere that I filmed before with the drone and it's now a no-fly zone. And I don't want to go through the whole process of getting checked off to fly here. I just want to fly here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe get some shots of this hanging out the window while I drive. Today is, I'm calling it, it's a bust. Clouds came back in, shots don't look good. I'm probably gonna pull footage that I had driving while holding a camera. You guys think I'm nuts. Everybody around me thinks I'm nuts. Vlog over. 